YouTube, how are you doing? This is Puck. It's very sunny in my studio, so I have my glasses on, okay? Apologies for that. So you want to install Windows 10 on your MacBook Pro 2010? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started. I'm not going to actually install it on my MacBook because I have a lot of work that I did on this MacBook that I just, you know, downgraded to the right version of Mac to continue to do my work on the Mac OS X. So I cannot actually install it, but I'm going to show you all the steps that you need to do. And you're also going to see them. You're going to see the, the MacBook boot. Uh, the Windows 10 installer files. We're gonna go up to the hard drive. You know, I'm gonna explain exactly to you what you should do, and then you can go try do it yourself. What you will need is a USB stick from at least four gigabytes, or maybe even a little bit bigger. And then you're gonna create a bootable USB stick. How to do that? You will need a program called Power ISO. I go for Power ISO 4.9. So run it on or install it on your windows computer create a bootable usb stick with it you know open it with administrator rights and then go into tools go down create bootable usb device select that part go into the tab that will open and select the iso file that you downloaded from microsoft link will be in the description and then you're gonna go ahead and select the usb drive and then you hit the Roger D, you will get a warning saying that everything will be wiped from the drive. And then boom, you'll be creating a bootable USB stick the way it should for Windows 10. So after you created the bootable USB stick, you will be on the Mac as well, busy. You will have the Mac beside your Windows machine. And while it's still running Mac OS any version, go on the internet and find refined okay so in my previous video i spoke about refit but the guys are not working on refit anymore and it became refined and refined it looks way more polished it looks very nice so we're gonna install refined install it on your mac reboot and make sure that you see the refined efi bootloader whenever you're gonna start up your mac when this is done you're almost ready to go so your USB stick is finished. Well, stick it into your Mac and just reboot your Mac. The rest you're going to see in this video. I wish you good luck and lots of fun running Windows 10 on your MacBook Pro. Okay, peeps, uh, we installed Refind on the Mac and we created a bootable USB stick. So we're gonna reboot and see what happens. The stick is already inserted. Hello, how are you? You can see me there. And boom, we wait a second. We see a white screen and it's loading. And I'm not sure if you will be able to see. There it is, Refind. And uh, besides the X, we now also see another icon beside the X. So let's go ahead and just uh, select that one. Because that is the USB drive of uh, Windows 10. The installer files, the bootable USB stick that we created with Power ISO. So we're going to boot it up and see what happens. You get a black screen showing a little stripe there in the corner left. And then boom. Windows will start up with the installing procedure. Now I must tell you about this part that you're seeing right now. Okay? Because this might take a couple of minutes. And in fact, I'm not going to pause the video. I'm just going to show it to you real time. So you can make a calculation of how, it, uh, how long it's going to take the installing at least to get ready. This part is, 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 is kind of a crazy part. And in fact, this whole installation is also a crazy installation. Because after the system will be installed, and you're going to reboot the system, refit, Mac, and everything that was on the machine will be gone. And then Windows will have to deal 
with the official boot loader from Mac. And then something crazy happens because that bootloader is not used to, to get Windows files. So it will show a hard disk not working, broken, uh, crazy, you know, and then BAM! BAM! Windows will kick straight through that broken hard drive that Mac is showing you and the system will boot and you can continue the setup and finish the installing and you will you will be brought to the desktop you installed windows 10 on a macbook okay when this first happened to me i was really excited i made uh, uh, three videos i think they were watched pretty good and also got a lot of love so i i, I think that that many people um, that were on these old macbooks that were uh, deprecated because that's just how it is in fact i think the macbook pro 2010 is also kind of deprecated even though it runs sierra and it can run uh, mavericks and just i think you know seven year old uh, uh, macbook yeah i'm not sure if it should run uh, uh, operating system that is seven years uh, uh, older than how can I say it? Uh, younger? How, how, how could we see it? Because, in fact, this thing runs the best on Snow Leopard, Lion, and Mountain Lion. But the moment you're gonna install Josmith and Mavericks, you see that your Mac just changed into a sort of uh, a lot of uh, crap on it. You know, waiting times, crazy things that I never saw in my Mac. And really, I, I, I do not accept it. I don't want to run an operating system saying, yeah, uh, you have the latest operating system and then my, my machine is crippled. You know, it runs like crap. It irritates me. I get pissed. I want to take a stick and hit it. No, then something is not good. And, and, and the moment you see that your Mac is, is reacting like that, then two things or your hard drive is broken or you have some some virus some trojan that is that is controlling you on distance or something else the operating system is not good you know it's too heavy for the system and when i find things like that then i go search for what it is you know and now that i downgraded and found out that the mac is working just fine uh, with with mountain lion i'm not really uh, worrying uh, too much about a hardware problems such as hard drive not good or I need extra memory and so because I think 4 gigabytes DDR3 is, is more than enough you know how much that is you go to the store and buy brand new machines they don't even have 4 gigabyte they have 2 gigabyte you know so 4 gigabyte is a lot of memory no jokes my friend you know don't don't let them believe make you believe differently if you're gonna run flight simulator x and all these things i i do it with four gigabyte uh, on my on my main machine and i fly every day and i have fantastic flights you know uh yeah but in these uh, machines i could put even more ram you know that would be finer uh having a a system with a lot of power uh, uh is, is, is always fine if you're gonna play some some heavy games such as flight simulator and and these kinds of things but hey, for real, uh, most people, they, they don't do things like that. They, they just want to read their mail and they want to, you know, read the news and they want to, um, I don't know. So they don't do things like that, most people. Most computer users, they don't need the power that they have. And there we are. We are in the, yeah, the, the, one of the first screens. This is Windows 10. It's the latest, the very latest that you can download. This one. This is a, a insider preview. So you guys, what you're seeing now is 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 for insiders. You know, it's for the people that subscribe to to Microsoft to 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 get uh, to do some testings and and show the system and and even more testing. It's not about showing the system and and advertising the system. No, it's more about testing the system, sending the results uh, to Microsoft. Because Microsoft can uh, see everything that you're doing with these systems okay the insider preview is a build that is also helping the developers out there at microsoft to get things you know fixed and to see where things are going wrong how the hardware is running with it etc 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 so this what i'm doing is in fact if you guys gonna do this uh inside the previews 
uh, on a MacBook Pro, a machine that wasn't meant to, to, to run Windows, it will be fantastic information for Microsoft. Okay, you will be asked for a serial number, a key. Well, just hit the link that is saying I have no key. You know, don't go look for a key on the internet. Don't do things like that because Microsoft will see all that you did and you will make a fool of yourself okay it will make you look bad to the company so just hit uh, you don't have a, 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 a key and then it will ask you what version would you like uh, to to install which inside the preview would you like to test and then we see educational we see pro we see pro n and i just selected one because i'm not uh, uh, gonna install this to the mac in fact but you, of course, can choose the very best in that list and go for it. And uh, uh, if that is uh, chosen, you will be brought to the other screen. Okay, so I was kind of dubbing here because, yeah, in fact, I was feeling like, shall I install it and, you know, do the whole thing. But then something said to me, um, yo, Puck, it's not, you're not going to run it on the Mac and I mean, it's more challenging to, to, to make a setup video of how to, you know. Here, in the next part, you will see, you cannot read it so good, I'm, I'm, I'm filming with my Samsung S5. Here you can see that uh, we can do a custom install. And the drives that you see here, you will have to delete them all. You see the little delete there at the bottom there, see? You will have to delete them all. I'm, I'm not going to delete them because I, you know, I don't want to kill my system. I'm very happy with my, uh, with my mountain lion. Really, I'm really happy. But after you, you know, you, you cannot select the biggest drive and say, yo, hey, install it on there. No. Uh, Windows 10 need the complete drive. It's going to create a GPT partition, what I saw. So you must delete all these things, all these drives until you have one left. You will have one drive left that will be the internal hard drive of your Mac and then boom hit next okay and the system will start installing really and after the first reboot really you're gonna you, you you're gonna be so scared because you're gonna see some hard drive of your Mac that is broken and and you will feel awful when you see that and then boom windows kicks straight to it and you'll be like wow i never saw a thing like this before just like the installation that i did on the on the samsung uh, what was it the 9000 uh, that was effect yeah so crazy the boot screen was showing totally messed up but yeah as you could see the thing worked just fine <laughs> and the upgrade was done so that's how to do it peeps let's start up my mac again okay my friends that was it this is how to get started installing windows 10 on a macbook pro 7.1 from 2010 but i think on any mac